it's made me realise that um, you shouldn't limit yourself. I think that's what the fellowship has done for me, that it's given me the confidence that I didn't have. I've been working as a journalist in Guatemala for eight years. I write for both Spanish-speaking and English-speaking publications internationally and locally. Really as a freelancer I've covered all sorts of issues including politics, security, human rights but what I'm really passionate about and what I really enjoy doing is um, human rights stories. This fellowship lasted for seven months so the first six months I was based in Boston and I was studying at MIT at the Center for International Studies. While I was in Boston, I was writing for the Boston Globe. So um, I was writing a column um, and I focused on Latin America. Actually, I'm still going to continue doing that. That was one of the great things about the fellowship, that um, it was a way into the globe and to meeting people there. At the Boston Globe, I was writing a column and um, my first article was about Honduras. So I continued writing about Central America and um, um, yes, I realised that there were people from academic institutions, think tanks, who were retweeting the articles. And uh, for me as a journalist, it's been great in terms of getting a greater profile and, um, and also um, trying out something new because I've never been a columnist before. Um, the last month I spent um, in New York and I was working with the New York Times on the Metro desk, so covering local news. What's um, special and what's different about this fellowship is the relationship that you build with the media here in the US and that's why I think it's um, such a great fellowship for freelancers because there's a lot of very good and very interesting um, fellowships for journalists out there but a lot of them are very academic only um, and they focus a lot on courses but what I love about this program is it's very flexible and it includes that relationship with the Boston Globe, with the New York Times and, um, and also the fact that you can use your time in New York um, to build relationships with other media. I think that the fellowship has given me um, a great sense of confidence that maybe I didn't have before. Uh, just for example seeing that um, the people at the Globe and at the Times that were interested in my work um, and I, I never expected that to happen to be honest. It made me realise that I was capable of more than I thought. Um, and now I want to go back to Guatemala and to continue uh, building on those contacts that I've made here. My advice for future NIFA fellows um, would be make the most of every moment because um, the time just goes so quickly um, and it's a once in a lifetime opportunity so make sure you use it well. Try and do things beyond the fellowship, beyond your time at the Boston Globe, at the Times. Look for other opportunities, make the most of the networking opportunities, try and get out there and meet people. Use your time there um, to make those contacts which will be useful for you later on. Um, I mean every fellow is different and every fellow has um, different um, expectations, different needs. So um, it's up to you to use um, your time um, and to tailor that opportunity to your specific needs. I never expected to do so many things. It's just been amazing from the beginning to the end.